Hey there and welcome to Daily Love TV. I'm your host, Mastin Kip, founder of thedailylove.com. And today's question is from daily lover named Zura. And she asked a very simple question. What do you do with family members who put you down? Now, incredible question, powerful question. And the first thing I wanna say is, is that it's kind of a cliche, but it's true. You know, your friends are kind of God's way of apologizing for your family. You can pick your friends, you can't pick your family. But what I will tell you, is that if your family members bother you, that's on them. What I mean by that is this. They're not going to change, right? I used to think I could change my family. And by the way, there's really never been a more painful thought that I've tried to think than that one, right? My family's not going to change, but who could change? Who has the power, right? I do. And so one of the things I want to sort of share with you is that as we go on this spiritual path, we're going to have new insights, new awarenesses. We're going to think about things that we didn't think about before. We're going to see things in a new way. So what that means is, is that all of a sudden we have this, we've been thinking over on this certain path and we start to separate from the people that we know and the people that we care about. Now, hear me. Just because you're on a spiritual path, just because you have a new awareness, just because you have a new insight, does not make you more spiritual than your family, okay? That is a very unspiritual thing to do, to assume some type of moral superiority because now you read a personal growth book and have a better vocabulary, okay? So let's set that aside for a second. What it means is you have a greater opportunity to love them. Now, there are different ways to love your family. I can tell you in my own life, one of the most powerful decisions I made was to give the love to my parents that I wanted to receive from them. I wanted to, I decided to give them the love that I wanted to receive. I kept waiting around for them to love me in a certain way. And they love me like crazy. I love them. They're probably watching this video right now. And I love you, mom and dad. But I had this certain expectation of how I wanted to be loved and it wasn't happening. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to give it to them. And all of a sudden, over time, things started to transform. And so what's fascinating about friends, family members, people, people that we really care about, it's always about you. It's always about how you relate to yourself, how you're relating with your higher power, and if you're getting triggered, there's work to do. Now, sometimes that work could be setting a boundary and no longer engaging with family, right? It's not like you have to go back in again, jump on the grenade again, just because they're your family. You are allowed to set boundaries. You are allowed to take care of yourself. And sometimes that's appropriate. You know, we've had clients that sometimes it's traumatic for them to go spend time with their parents or their family. And we've advised them, you know, like you don't have to go. You don't have to go home. You can stay where you are. And that's like a new insight. It's a new idea for them. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to check in on yourself and see, okay, how can I bring forward the love that's missing in this relationship? If that's not enough, and you're really struggling with your family, it is quite all right to set a boundary. You don't have to show up the way that you did. You really want to stay focused in your lane and start to figure out, well, what makes me happy? See, we can get so wrapped up in making the family and making the tribe happy that we can sometimes get away from ourselves. We can sometimes think to ourselves, you know what? That tribal family approval, so much more important than my own. And the reality is, you have a special gift that you must give to the world. You have a purpose. You have a reason for being here. And a lot of times we can get so distracted with the family drama that we spend more time on that than actually going after our dreams. And so maybe spend more time on your dreams. Spend more time doing the things that you love. Asking yourself, what do you love? What do you really want to have? Very, very powerful question. But the most important thing out of this whole video today is this. Give your family the love you want them to give you. When you step into contribution, when you step into service in this way, it's very powerful. Now, not once, not twice, not three times. This is now how you operate. And it's beautiful because once you start to accept, you know what, my mom is just this way, or my dad is just this way, or my family is just this way, or my parents or my, my sister or my brother are just the way that they are, you stop trying to change them, all of a sudden, you bring yourself into alignment with something greater. It's very, very powerful to be able to do this. So see if you can start to generate and be the source of love in your family 
rather than trying to extract it out. This can be a game changer. It can be scary. It can mess with the power dynamics of the family, and that's totally fine as well. But just know that you have the power to do this if you so choose. So here's your task. In the comments below, let me know what new habits, what new patterns are going to emerge from this video time together in your family. What love did you want from your family? How are you going to give it to them instead? Please leave a comment down below. The Daily Love community is a group of seriously loving, caring folks. Hit up thedailylove.com and leave your comment and join in on the conversation and meet and support these amazing people. Also, we published a rockin' daily email full of inspiration from me and all kinds of amazing experts from around the world. Head on over to thedailylove.com and sign up for our email to get these awesome daily doses of love. Also, if this video has been inspiring, please feel free to share it with family, friends, people that you care about to brighten their day. And also, subscribe to us on YouTube so that you get notified on our next update. As always here at Daily Love TV, take action and make it real. I'll see you next time.